as an administrator campus principal here at Cisco Junior High, uh, we support our teachers and our students by giving them the flexibility, whether it's uh, teachers needing training, whether it's teachers needing to break down data, uh, whether it's teachers uh, that will actually meet with other blended teachers, we give them support by giving them an off period, covering their classes for them, having an instructional aid come in there and cover. And that way our teachers can get together, they can look at the data, they can share ideas, they can share, okay, this was good, this was bad, and then we try to grow from that. So as an administrator, just being able to give those teachers what they need when you can, and, and plus it doesn't take a whole lot for us to uh, support them. Support for blended learning teachers to me is really what I feel like is takes up most of my time and what I want to take up my time. It is doing the data for them. It's giving the, the broad assessments. When we do NWEA's MAP test, that's my responsibility. I conduct those. I run all the data for them. Any data set that they want, I pull that for them because they are teaching their classroom. The things that I try to always tell them, I can't come to your classroom and teach for you every day so let me do the things that I can. And that's pulling the data, that's making the phone calls, that's doing the research. That's if they say, I really think I need this type of software or, or this hardware isn't working well for me, would you please help? I do all the research, all the phone calls, all the backdrops. So that kind of support is number one. Well, probably number one. The other side that's a very close second is, is just being there for them. They need to talk. They need to bounce ideas off of. I'll get that phone call frequently. Can you come down? I just need to bounce some ideas off of you. And absolutely, I'll be there. It's, it's to listen to them. It's to help guide them. It's to give them input. It's to give them things to think about that perhaps they haven't. It's to be their cheerleader and to tell them it's okay. We can do this. What do you need from me? What can I give you? It's making sure that I work with the superintendent, with the campus administrators, the principal and assistant principals to make certain that they get the days off that they need. When I see um, inevitable burnout coming where they've just put so much in and they're starting to hit that wall about the first six weeks that uh, to tell them, let's, let's give them a day. We need to step back, give them some time, give them time for data, or I need time for them to sit together to work on data. It's supporting them in any way that I can, whether it's again with outside people, whether it's from internal folks, is to make sure that they have what they need so that they can successfully manage their classrooms. Uh, but being with them is, is, sometimes it's just walking through their classroom and giving them a thumbs up. You know, they just, we all need that sometimes. So those are the, those are the fun things that I get to do. One thing we have uh, been able to do so far, and with training for uh, uh, Blended, is allowing our teachers to go to other schools to see, okay, this is how they do it. Maybe this can work in Cisco. And, and also, you know, in, in pre preparation for next year, uh, when we start talking about staffing, when we start talking about curriculum, breaking down the data, uh, seeking out uh, professional development training, that is specific to our blended needs here in Cisco.